Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna Stashkina and today I'm going to teach you how to make with a paper filler flowers. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and let's begin. So you can see I use for making these filler flowers, I use a lot of scraps of wafer paper and you can see one side of wafer paper sheet is uh, bumpy like you can see the texture and another side is completely smooth but there is no right or wrong way of using wafer paper or whatever makes you happy whatever you're more comfortable with use that side so I'm going to use this template and I'm going to use top three flowers and I cut a strip of wafer paper roughly the size of my template. I, when I work with this wafer paper I usually do not cut more than three layers at once because otherwise it makes it a little bit misshapen. And save all your scraps and pieces when you're working with wafer paper you will need this small scraps and pieces to make your wafer paper glue and I just keep it in a plastic bag at the same time. You can use a silhouette cutting machine or you can use craft punch. This is the one I use the most and it's relatively easy to use them. Same as you're using with regular paper, you just stick your paper in and press. So I keep my scraps of wafer paper and I cut them to a size of rice grain. Then I add water. This is distilled water but you can use cool down boiled water. And I just cover my wafer paper and let it sit like this in a bowl. Preferably overnight or at least for two to uh, four hours and this is a 30 gauge uh, paper covered floral wire so I'm going to make a tiny hook like this and then I'm going to take a piece of paper paper take my glue so I'm applying a tiny bit of glue to one side take my piece of wafer paper with wafer glue, press my wire onto a piece of wafer paper and cover it up like this, just a little bit to get it started. So I'm trying to make a tiny bud and cover my wire in wafer paper like this. Next I'm going to take my two flowers uh, next I'm going to take my ball tool. Everything is dry so I didn't put any moisture, nothing. So I'm taking my ball tool and I'm shaping the flower a little bit. So what I'm going to do next is take my bud that I just made, cover with wafer glue just a little bit and apply my flowers. So this is the first one. And it's broken but it doesn't matter because what I'm trying to do is just cover my butt with wafer paper flour and smoosh it together. I'll take my wafer glue, apply it to a flower, put it through and glue this together. So you can see this tiny 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 flower that took us less than a second to make and I'll do the same with the larger one so again I'm taking two flowers and I'll probably even take in different sizes place it on my palm and just shape it a little bit to cup it so you can see the difference two petals are flat and if I place it on my hand and go with my ball tool, it becomes shaping and interesting again and like that. So I'm taking my flower glue, applying to the whole, so you can see I'm applying this glue to the whole flower. 
to moisten a little bit and make it flexible. And here, just in the middle, but you don't need to be precise or like super specific. It takes seconds to make and just stick everything together. You don't need to think or you don't need to be super specific. Just cover your butt, smoosh it together like this. So you can see how tiny this flower is. And the second layer, four, three, and four. And I'm fixing it together by smooshing and pinching on the bottom. So now we made two of this flowers, the smaller one and the medium size one. And I'll do the same with the two this size. And I'll make three in this size. So what I'm going to do next is I'll show you how to make this type of uh, stamen combinations. And to do that, I'm going to use floral tape thread so this is gum glue this is your typical glue made out of tile powder and water and what else and uh, this is simalina or like corn meal mixed with yellow powder color so I'm taking a piece of floral tape full length and I will need another piece of floral tape half width. So I'll cut this piece in half. And keep it ready. So I'll place it here. I'm taking my thread, placing on my fingers and going around five times. That's it. Five is enough for this type of flower. I'm snipping it off and now I have my loop I'm placing it together so I'm making a figure eight and then I'm going to apply my floral tape here in the middle so I'm almost like making a bow or Mickey Mouse ears and then I'm rolling it around and making this tight as tight as possible so now I have this construction where I have five layers of heavy duty thread and a piece of floral tape in the middle and I'm going to cut it in half and cut this loops open and give it a haircut so I want to make it to make this type of tiny brooms. And next I'm taking my 30 gauge floral wire, stretching my piece of floral tape, applying floral tape to floral wire and gluing in my piece of thread like that and fixing them together and bringing my floral tape down. So now I have this tiny broom. So next I'm going to take my gum glue, just a little bit, dip my thread into a gum glue and remove as much as possible on my um, lid. And then dip it into this mixture, take uh, toothpick or you can use a needle or like your scribble tool to separate this stamens a little bit and make them fuzzy and what i'm going to do for these flowers so I'll make one two layers this and the larger one i want them to be a little bit more interesting in shape compared to the one we made like the tiny ones this one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use spray with some vodka 
You can use for same application something like uh, paper potion. You can use vapor paper conditioner that I usually make, but for the to make it as quick as possible and easy to work with, I'm going to spray with just a little bit of vodka. So you can see that this flower is raised a little bit because I applied moisture to this flower. And I'm going to take this and put it on my palm. And if it's a little bit too moist, then you would like to, to be apply a little bit of cornstarch. So I have a little bit of cornstarch on my brush and I'm going to shape it to cup my petals same as we did before. But now I have a tiny bit of moisture on this flower so it's going to keep its shape a little bit better. And I'm using vodka because it evaporates much quicker so that's why I'm using it today uh, for the purposes of demonstration and if you're making this type of flowers and you want to make them a lot of them and quick enough just use vodka it's totally fine and I'm applying a little bit of wafer glue in the middle of uh, my flower I'll take this piece of tiny broom stick it in through the center and make sure it sticks to my flower so again I'm just squeezing it in and because I have wafer glue on the bottom it will stick so you can leave it like this it almost looks like a cherry blossom or something, but it takes seconds to make. And for the next layer, I'm going to snip it in the middle, just for easier application. So, touch of wafer glue and apply the second layer. And wafer glue makes everything stick so well so you can see now I have a multi-layered tiny flower I'm going to put it upside down like this to dry I'll make the larger one the same spray with vodka just a little bit wait for the flower to curl up and then uh, go back and I will see which one is soft and pliable so I can shape it on my palm using a uh, ball tool maybe even larger one if it sticks to your hand or to your tools apply a little bit of cornstarch shape it and I'm going to make two of this cup inward like this and one I'm going to cup outward so I'm placing it in my palm and using my ball tool to make it go in and then I'll press it upward like this and you'll see why I'm doing this I'll take my scissors and snip them a little bit because these flowers are already bigger and it's just easier to work with wafer paper like this I'm applying a touch of wafer glue to my two first layers taking my center and putting it in the middle placing all the petals together so my second layer and my third layer I'm going to apply upwards so I'm placing 
applying my wafer glue on the bumpy side and I will place it on my flower this side up. So you can see the difference that this flower is blooming. So I have here green wire. This is a 22 size, but you can use 24, 26, depends on your preferences. And I'll take a piece of floral tape where is my floor? Yeah, I have this half with floral tape. And I'll start with my tiny flowers on the top. So I'm placing my floral tape to attach my first flower a little bit down the, the second one. And then I'm going to place my floral wire next flower and the largest one. Now you can see that we have beautiful with paper flower arrangement. You can insert it into your cake. You can place it on something like green flower, green leaves and you can see how beautiful and how easy to make this type of filler flowers with wafer paper. Thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial. I hope you like it. If you're going to try to make these filler flowers for your cakes or cookies or whatever the art you're doing, don't forget to tag me on social media as Tashkina Cakes because I really like to see what you come up with and leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I see you next week. Same time, same place. Bye-bye.